Hey guys, it's Ari, back again with another video. Today I'm with Tiffany and we are going to be doing 20 things that college girls like that guys do or something like that. Look for it guys, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. The title will be the title. So yeah, so we're just going to go through these 20 things, maybe talk about it here and there if we have something to say about it. If you like videos like this, go ahead and like this video up. Also, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I like that guys do, I feel like it shows that they were, you know, raised right, you know what I'm saying? Is if they <laughs> open doors. Like if we first go on a date and like you opening the car doors, I'm walking and you opening the door for me and I ain't even know you was gonna open the door for me. My hand's not even full, you just opening the door. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's that's polite. What if he opened the door and he walked in first? <laughs> See, I feel like that done happened to me before. I mean, that's just rude. That's rude. Like, why would you open the door and then walk in and just let the door, like... <laughs> that's rude. He stretched his arm out for you to catch it. Like... Um, I guess some guys do that. They'd be like... Yeah. I mean, that's cool, too. But I, I just personally like when they, like, open the door and be like... I don't, you don't have to do that, especially on campus, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're rushing somewhere, then push in the door. I mean, at least acknowledge that I'm behind you and I'm coming in behind you. So I feel like attention. they don't. They be having their headphones in. I don't know, but you're going to catch my eye <laughs> if you open the door for me because I think that's, that's nice. Someone who's ambitious. True. You don't want someone who's not going out there trying to make something of himself. True, true. And then when you take him home to your parents and they ask him, okay, oh, so what are your doing? plans? <coughs> oh, he focused on music. <laughs> not saying that's not a bad trying thing. to knock people that's like, but, but I, if you're not grinding hard with it, don't. Be realistic. Exactly, like, exactly. I mean, people can say the same thing about me, like, oh, she do YouTube. Like, their parents are probably like, what is that? But, but like I'm, I'm in school. I'm, I have a job. I'm doing other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, have something going for yourself. Have a plan. I like a guy that has a plan, knows where he's going. Because you get to talk about it. Exactly. It shows that they're, they, they're thinking about themselves. They're very self-aware and they want things for themselves. The next thing that I like um, that, that I would prefer a guy to have is good hygiene. Like a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like make sure you yo <laughs> hairline. Like a hairline has to be really bad for me to notice though. Cause I really don't yeah. look at somebody's hairline. Like it has to be really like. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. But I mean, like breath. Like breath. <laughs> that's you done with. You but done with if your breath. You just. Just funk. <laughs> you <laughs> done with it. No. You that's already done boo. with. That's a, he not my boo if I know his breath kicking. He's not my boo. That's not my boo. It's funny at the same time, but I just think it's so, like, annoying when a guy is ashy. Just, like, straight ashy. All on his legs, all on his knees. Like, like you ashy, if boy. If he's wearing shorts and he's ashy, that's bad. But if he has on, like, joggers or something and he's ashy, that's not bad. Yeah, that's you don't not, see it. Yeah, you don't see it. But what's worse compared to, like, the ash on the legs is, like, the ash on, like, the hands. <laughs> Slick, I be ashy right there. <laughs> but I don't think it's that bad as, like, Chalk. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 like, oh, yeah, like, his hands just ashy, like, yeah, I, I like a guy that knows what lotion is, uses it. I personally like someone who is taller than <laughs> I am, or a lot taller than I am, for multiple yeah. reasons. Like, picking me up, if I want to wear heels. You don't gotta still taller than me. I don't know. It's so just if you wear heels and y'all the same height. It's like I mean that's not too bad. But if I wear heels and I'm taller than you, it's kind of like you're not gonna wear heels. I can't wear heels ever. <laughs> I can't wear heels ever. Nope. Then we're on dates. I gotta make sure I have nice flats, nice hands. Flats? I don't really like flats. They have to be really cute flats, like. Also, this is the next thing. I also like a guy who is family oriented, like just loves his family, loves his mom. Like, cause I feel like if he 
if he like loves his family like he has sisters he has a mom he doesn't have to have sisters i'm just saying he loves his family he knows how to like care show for love. someone yeah. like show love care for some share like ugh. probably gonna be a little i just more hate selfish later. people people that are just selfish like i feel like they be the people that don't like, aren't close to their family they don't know how to share like i feel like if he's family oriented there's a lot of good qualities that come with that I like someone who isn't too friendly. Explain. <laughs> you can have friends of the opposite sex, but there's a line for everything when we start dating. Mm, yeah, especially when you start dating. She needs to know who I am. She needs to know. She needs to know. <laughs> what if she... Oh, that would be so... What? I would hate that if I was dating somebody and he had a girl that was his friend and she didn't know who I was. I would feel some type of way about that. She's supposed to know. Because you're supposed to be all over his social media. It's not his social media, it's y'all's social media. And personally, if y'all watched my other video where we talked about, um, it was me, horse, and Gabe, and we talked about the whole Snapchat at a party thing. Girl walks up and asks you your Snapchat. No. I personally think that shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it will happen because my man's cute. But, like, if <laughs> man is gonna be cute, so it will happen. I'm just saying that he, I feel like he should be like, um, I, I don't know at the same time because he probably gonna feel like he bugging or like he's weird or like he has an attitude if he be like, nah, I'm sorry, I got a girl. Like, he, he probably gonna feel it's like, like a do unto others as you would want done to you. So, yeah, if you were at a party and a guy came up to you, like, can I get your Snapchat? Would he, he would feel some that? type of way. He would be like, no, tell him to move to the next side. He would, yeah. So why are you giving her your Snapchat? What are y'all to be friends? About? To be you friends. have enough friends. You have me. me. <laughs> exactly, you have me. Get snaps for me, not her. <laughs> like, what do you mean? If she comes up to you asking for your Snapchat at a party, she is attracted to you. I don't care what anyone says. She saw you and was like, he's cute. It That's the only reason bold. she walked... She had to be bold to walk up to you. She had to want you to walk up to you. Because girls don't walk up to guys at parties. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. So she had to, like, really think he was cute. So with that being said, why are you giving her a Snapchat? She always thought she was cute. So that's her intention. So you need to shut her down real quick like you want me to do and tell her that I got a girlfriend. I'm sorry. Da -da 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 -da. And, and if you yeah. give it to her, like, that's not respectful. I don't think that is. I don't think it's um, that's personally. like giving your number to somebody because we all use it Snapchat. Is. We communicate. It's exactly Snapchat. like giving your number to somebody. Okay, so the next thing that I like for a guy to be is like well-dressed. I personally do not like sagging. I think that's nasty. Like, I, I just think that's nasty. I don't want to see your draws, like, at all. I personally like you to pull up your pants because it's disgusting. It's nasty. We too old for that. Don't sag. It looks dirty. Cause like you it looks see, like you like your butt. Like, like, like you don't bath. You don't bathe. Baby. <laughs> it, like, <laughs> it looks like you don't bath. <laughs> it looks like you don't bathe yeah. when you sag. That's disgusting. Don't don't sag. Don't do that. I like someone who's not too cocky. And I feel like that is like, that needs to be explained. Because you can have someone who's confident, but not like overconfident. Where he feels like he looks better than you. And like, you can't. <sighs> <laughs> like I don't like cocky. Mm -mm. That's bad. Like he feel like he can't take you first because he's so cocky. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really don't. He he just not gonna get texted. Like you're not finna talk or date. Period. If he's cocky. Yeah. If, yeah. I don't like that either. A little sweet gesture if we're dating. I like um, forehead kisses. I think that's so cute. <laughs> I just had to throw that in. Like, I love forehead kisses. I think that's so sweet. Like, it's just like a sweet little gesture. Like, okay, so you like forehead kisses, but do you like PDA? Yeah. Yeah. And just not too much. Okay. <laughs> not too <laughs> to much. A certain extent, to a certain extent. Like, we can kiss in public. Obviously, we're dating. Like, yeah. But. Not no, like, touching. To too a much. Point where it's like I feel like sometimes it can get inappropriate. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like not too much, not too much with it. If you can't do it on your mom, then don't do it in public. 
Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good rule. If you can't do it right, your mom don't do it in public. Cause personally, I'ma feel uncomfortable. Okay. I'ma be like, okay, now everybody's looking, looking at, at us. You yeah, like... everybody's looking at us, and you over here doing too much. Like, stop. They stop. <laughs> Not easily influenced by others. <laughs> so basically, like, he doesn't care. Like, what? He doesn't have to be always doing what other people are doing that and like if if his friends think a certain something about you he's not influenced by what they got to say about you like oh yo why why are you with her she she got short hair i don't know she talk to so and so she <laughs> or, or she used to talk to such and such okay yeah. well she date me now <laughs> like you find that out for yourself from her that's where trust comes in right talk jealous. to me people be jealous your homie really want to get with me, so he's telling you all this crap, so you don't. <laughs> like, it really be like that, for real. They be mad jealous. I curved your homie the other day, okay? And so now he's talking to you, putting all this stuff in your ear. Someone who's not soft. Explain. <laughs> Explain that. There can't be, like, two girls in a relationship. Like, yes, two girls, two females. Like... <clears throat> We just always me, 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 all the time because you always whining. I'm supposed to be whining. I'm playing. I'm not a whiner. But, <laughs> but like, you just, your feelings just always hurt. Like, And you can have feelings. Like, we're all human. We all feel. But, like, about every little thing, that's usually a girl thing. It is. It is. It is a girl thing. And, like, I, I want to be in a relationship with somebody who, like, who's strong. You know, a leader who, who. Like, per okay, the whole word of pants and relationship things, like, I, I could I could be like, I wear pants and relationship, but I want to know in my head that this dude actually wears the pants because he, he knows, like, I don't know, he's just a leader, you know what I'm saying? Okay, another thing that I like is when he notices the, the little things, like, remembers little things, you know, just pays attention to who I am. And what you got going on. And what I like going on. You know, my interests. He just remembers the small things. I just think, like, every girl likes that because it just shows that he actually cares about you. And he's interested in what, like, your interests and what you like and stuff. Because it gets frustrating always explaining yourself to somebody. It does. And it gets frustrating always reminding somebody, you know, I like doing this. Like, I told you this. Yeah. I <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. To be in a relationship with no dude like that, man. Like, you always gotta remind him. Like, he should just know. Like, like in the movie Stomp the Yard, you know, favorite color is green. <laughs> no, I never heard of that. That joke was so cute. Ever since I saw that movie, oh, I was like, man, my man gotta know the little things about me, man. And I saw her earrings and her ring in her car. Going back to the PDA, kinda, obviously, we like someone who's affectionate. Yes, affectionate. And that's not even that's not even in like it, like physically all the time. It's it's more like he's able to tell you how he really feels about you. You know what I'm saying? He's not too prideful to where he can't. He's proud of how he feels about you. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to know how he feels about you. He he, he wants, wants to show you too. He wants to show you too. So I I feel like yeah yeah I like a guy who is affectionate because it lets me know that I'm just not the one feeling some type of way. Yeah. He also feels the same way. And that's that's love, man. That's cute, man. <laughs> Wants to do more than just chill. Like. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Like. Ooh. You wanna do it tonight? No, I'm just gonna chill. Just gonna chill. Like, call me sometimes and be like, hey, so I, I saw this spot when I was driving and I think that we should go there and check it out. No. I'm coming over. I'm tired. Oh, <laughs> You're coming over. You're tired. You can stay your butt in your bed and go to sleep. You're tired. You can go to sleep in your bed. You have a bed. Go to sleep in it. Okay, so the next thing that I like is a guy that respects women. And when I mean that, I mean like he actually cares about women. But also, I like the terms in which he refers to women. Like the B word. Like I don't like when guys just throw that out. Like, just calling girls bees. Well, she has a name. She has a name, right? You know, or, like, I don't I don't like when guys refer to girls in, like, a negative way. Like, I just, 
I just think this shows a lack of consideration. Because I feel like, what if one day we argue and you call me that? We don't have a major problem. A major problem after We're not that. We're having problems because we're not going to be together. After you disrespect someone and call them out their name. Like, mm -mm. Like. And just have respect for people overall. You don't want someone who's ignorant. Like, when y'all go out, he's ignorant. That's, yeah. Just, that's just embarrassing. Ignorant. Just ignorant. Like, yeah. Stands up for us. Yeah, like, okay, so. Like, like, I don't know. I don't know. Say somebody say something to me. He'd be like, oh, no, you're not going to talk to my girl like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. So I'm sit there like. Like, sit there because he's scary. Like, really? He just, like, you, you, you ain't see him just say that to me? Like, I mean, you ain't got to fight him, but, you know. He needs to be your voice. Yes. Sometimes he needs to be my like voice when it. Team. Yes. Exactly. My protector. I need to be feeling like when I'm with you, I'm protected. At all, at all times, because I know that if something were to happen, you and got me. And y'all go out, forget the taser, because he got you. Right, he got me. <laughs> Ain't got to bring nothing, because I know he's my weapon right there. Right there on the spot, on site. So, I like someone who will show me off. Like, post me on his social media, and that's another thing. Guys be like, I don't want everybody all up in my business. Yes. Yes. Cause you post everything else on social media, you can post me on there too. You just don't gotta answer people. It's not their business. It's not their business. Social media is where you share your business. Period. People, people don't have to know what we do, but they gotta know why I exist. Who you are, yeah. Like, why wouldn't you want to show me off? I feel like that goes. You want to be single if you don't want to do that. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm being hid now. Like you're hiding me from somebody. From the H word. <laughs> exactly out there. We basically already like explained how we like a good listener, somebody who's able to communicate. Yeah, it is self-explanatory. You can't listen, and you're talking to yourself. That's a one. Right, and then we find ourselves arguing about the same thing all the time. Cause he doesn't listen. <laughs> be, bringing up, be bringing up the same thing all the time. Okay, so the last thing, it just kind of goes into, like, showing affection. It's like, good morning text. I feel like that's, like, a nice gesture to do. Like, show me that, when, you know, when you wake up, you just think about me. I mean, obviously, I'm going to do it, too, because, like, I don't know. You just want to, that's not something even, that you should say to everybody. You know, good morning. Not even, like, good morning text, but text in general. Let the person know that you're, like thinking about them throughout the day. Throughout the day. Not and all the time, but, like, on occasion. We understand that you're busy. I'm busy too, but I feel like you can take two seconds out your day to be like, hey, I hope you're having a good day. I've been doing this today and da 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 You know? It shows affection. It does. Not physically, in another way. It shows, that you, it shows that you care about how my day is going. Well, okay, guys. That was our video on what college girls will look for. And, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like videos like this, go ahead and like this video up. Also, follow Tiffany on Instagram and Twitter, wherever I'll have her um, social media in the description below and on the screen. Also, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can be a part of the notification squad because the area army is on the come up and we're taking over YouTube one video at a time. I remember, don't stress, stay blessed, I'm out. Mm. Bye!